Outdoor light shows can be tough managing all those wires. Water in the form of snow, rain, and just plain humidity has a bad way of finding any place you have to connect your prop into the data source and power source. How do you connect your props together with secure waterproof connections cheaply? The vendors sell prongs like this, but the costs do add up. How about running only two wires out for additional power injection instead of wasting the connection for three wire prongs? That's where the MUI connectors come in. That's what we'll talk about in today's Bites of Pie. Let's get started. I want to start off with giving credit to Bill Porter. The idea for MUI connectors comes from a recommendation he makes in his 2020 power distribution and power injection video. Bill is an electrical engineer for the US Navy, and his video is the best and clearest presentation I've seen for beginners in the hobby on how to safely calculate the right gauge of wire and fuses for your project, to determine where you want your power injection based on your choice of five volt or 12 volt pixels, how to use multiple power supplies, and a lot of other different electrical considerations when you're first getting started. I'll put a link to his presentation below. In this presentation, he talks about using the MUI connectors for his power injection lines. I use those for my power injection lines as well as some three pronged ones for power and data. You can usually get 10 connectors for just a little over $10, so it's about a dollar connector. On Amazon, you'll find these MUI connectors with yellow inserts and with red inserts. For this hobby, you'll want to purchase the ones that have the red inserts because they're rated for wire between 14 gauge and 20 gauge. One of the things you'll want to do when you start crimping these connectors onto your wire is to determine whether the male or the female end is closest to the power or data source. To keep things simple, just like a male power cord prong plugs into a female wall jack, I've decided to keep the power and data flowing from the female ends. There are also two different kinds of metal terminals you use to connect the wires that go inside the sheaths. There is a cylindrical and a pointy terminal. The cylindrical terminal always goes in the male connector and the pointy end always goes to the female connector. Let's run through a quick demonstration on how to attach these inserts onto your power injection wire. After stripping your wire, you'll place the red insert over the wire past the copper and over the existing sheath. Once that's on, you'll place the metal connector Make sure that the connector fits fully over the small end of the rubber insert. You'll initially crimp the end over the insert. Make sure both ends are folded over and have a snug hold onto the rubber. Once you've crimped the end over the rubber, there is a second place further up where you can crimp the wire directly onto the connector. Finally, I like to apply a little bit of solder onto each connector to attach it. It's not necessary, but I find that when I do this, it's much harder to pull the wire out from the connector. Lastly, we'll insert the connectors into the plastic housing. It is critical that you keep track of which side is the hot or line side and which side is neutral. On either side of the plastic housing is either an A and a B for two wire or an A, B and C for a three wire connector. To keep things straight, I always keep the line or hot side on A and the neutral on the farthest side, which would be B for a two prong or C for a three prong. That's it. I hope you found this useful and I hope your wire connectors stay solid and dry. Thanks for watching.